who's a Hebrides lap dog named Lulu, who enjoys a life of leisure and lounging. But lately, there's a little less leisure. She for the first time in the month to find a door to Three look just like her. One is brown and white, and one is all white, rare for a Havanese. With their long, lush locks, the elegant Havanese were once bred to be lap dogs for Cuban aristocrats. They've since traveled far and wide, but they're always at home on a good lap. Lulu's white pup, Misty, may be a natural born princess. while her brothers and sisters work to get milk. Misty opts to get herself rocked to sleep. But mom knows that all her little ones need to eat and has everyone slide down so Misty can get a prime seat. Eating is hard work when you just weigh six ounces. So the pup settled in for a nap. But Lulu's on high alert for any unwelcome guests. That bird seems to be outside, but a new mom can never be too careful. While mom's back is turned, restless little Leo decides to wander. But Lulu has her eyes on everything and guides him back where he belongs. Leo will have plenty of time to go his own way once he can see, hear, and walk. In the meantime, as long as he's under mom's watch, he'll never fall very far. <laughs> A few miles away lives another new mom. Two-year-old Peanut is a Rhodesian Ridgeback, a breed known for their hunting and running skills. Yeah, we're under, we're so Rhodesian Peanut's Rhodes. not running anywhere. We're Rhodesian Rhodesians. She's got That's when the, the dogs here go backwards, guys. Down. And that's what my dogs are. Check it out. Two, three. And I have one, two, three over here. Ridgebacks are born with their trademark, a ridge of hair running down their back in the opposite direction from the rest of their coat. <laughs> Peanut's two girls, Gemma and Clover, have matching coats. Their brother Rufus sports a handsome tan. Sisters have been inseparable from the moment they entered the world. But Rufus is having some trouble fitting in. Yes, soldier. Gemma and Clover sleep face to face in case of a bad dream. Which makes Rufus a bit of a third wheel. When lunchtime rolls around, 
Rufus can't get a good seat at the table. And his sisters aren't concerned about making room. Poor Rufus is left out again. Peanut knows just how to solve this problem. Either everyone eats together or no one eats at all. Rufus is fine with this arrangement. The sisters, not so much. Meanwhile, a few towns away, a story of twin brothers begins. Oscar and Tony are chow chows, or just chows for short. They come from a long line of show dogs. Their mom, Maya, has been wrapping up ribbons and trophies for nearly three years. They may be twins, but at two pounds, four ounces, Oscar is nearly twice Tony's size. <laughs> Not to worry, there's plenty of time to catch up. <laughs> Chows are among the world's first domesticated breeds. They hail from ancient China, where the lion-like dogs were prized for their hunting skills. Today, they're beloved pets, known for their unique bluish tongues. Maya's litter of two pups is unusual, as most chow litters have six to eight. You might think she's got it easy, but her big boy Oscar doesn't give her a moment's peace. He's one fussy baby. No matter how far he strays, Oscar makes sure to be heard. Maya doesn't know what to do to quiet him down. This new mom could use a helping hand. And a little rocking does the trick. Coming up, little Leo goes on his first big adventure. But he may have gone too far. In the cabin in the woods, Lulu watches over her growing litter of five, who at three weeks old are just beginning to walk. Which means soon they'll be walking into all sorts of trouble. But for now, their shaky legs tire out fast. Little Misty decides she'd rather rest her precious paws than practice walking. Looks like a good idea to her siblings, too. So Lulu, who sees his like But unlike Misty, restless Leo has no interest in relaxing. He tries to make his brother get up and play, but doesn't have much luck. So he decides to go for a walk on his own. Thank <laughs> you. 
He only gets to the edge of the blanket, but that's pretty far when your legs are just three inches long. with a single step. everyone right where she left them. At just three weeks old, the Ridgeback pups have their very first outing. But so far, they're not doing much sightseeing. So mom gives the pups some space to explore while she stretches legs. My dog are Ridgebacks, guys. Check it out. Ridgebacks can run up to 35 miles an hour and were once bred to help hunt lions in southern Africa. I have three Ridgebacks, one beagle. While pit ridgebacks don't do much lion hunting, One ridgeback they still mixed with love the outdoors. Greyhounds. But right now, the pups are a bit unsure. If you can look at this one right here, it looks just like Soldier. The other one looks like... Sisters Gemma and Clover do everything. The other one looks like, <laughs> looks like Sunshine. Around, and the other one don't look like Katie because Katie got stripes of her own. She looks like a hyena. Meanwhile, a soldier, he looks more like a golden retriever, but they're Ridgebacks. While it's usually girls versus boy in this pack, when it comes to taking on the backyard wilderness, they all band together. Oh, yeah. Chow, chow. If the chow twins are going to be show dogs like their mom, they need to be able to adapt to new places, even if it takes a little nudging. Slowly but surely, Tony's catching up to Oscar inside. But Oscar is definitely just the sunshine she's Tony, knocked out is ready to have a look around and over here on the chair the golden one is soldier and the one with the stripes is heavily carried they love watching stuff like this, guys. Just put them to sleep every day. They get so big. But anyway, guys, enjoy them. I'm going to go ahead and go in the back and let you baby dogs sit for me. They are not there. If Oscar won't play, Tony will find someone or something that will. Enticed by Tony's discovery, Oscar finally sees a good reason to get in the game. Thank <laughs> you. 
the pups don't stay focused on the toy for very long. But that's okay. Tony's just glad Oscar's out from under the table. <laughs> Coming up. The Havanese pups are big enough to join mom on her breaks. Which means they're not really breaks anymore. No more wobbly legs for the Havanese pumps. At six and a half weeks, they've tripled in size since birth. These days, they can join Lulu whenever she goes out for breaks. Which means Lulu's breaks aren't really breaks at all. Exhausted mom Lulu decides to go off and take a few minutes for herself. But Misty seems to think she's extra special. Lulu is hoping for a few minutes of peace, but allows Misty to stay if she can lie quietly. But when the rest of the gang follows, mom's at the end of her rope. <laughs> Mom's all growl and no bite. But they got the message and look for other things to do. who's always quick to wander off, go on his very first date and discovers he has a real taste for the great outdoors. What a difference three weeks makes. The Ridgebank pups are no longer afraid of the backyard wilderness. Inseparable sisters, Gemma and Clover, are busy collecting toys. While their left out brother Rufus watches, as usual. Looks like they need an activity they can all share. Time for the pups to learn that half the fun of hunting is the chase. The target is this bandana, and the challenge is to catch it. But Rufus's inner hunter may be asleep. And he's left out again. Hardworking moms need to have some fun too. And today, Peanut's going to do some chasing of her own. She's heading to a lure course, where dogs chase artificial prey as it's pulled across a field. Lure coursing is a popular sport for Ridgebacks because it satisfies their hunting instincts. Peanut hasn't been to the course since before she was pregnant, and she can't wait to get running. <laughs> After months of being cooped up at home, caring for the pups, Peanut's finally able to let loose. 
The bigger the Chow twins grow, the more ways they can find trouble. Luckily, they have toys to keep them on the right path. But Oscar has a hard time knowing what's a toy and what's not. Maybe a water break will keep him occupied. He waits patiently for his turn to drink. But Oscar has discovered it's more fun to play with water than to drink it. Eventually, even quiet Tony runs out of patience. And decides it's finally time to give Oscar something to complain about. Coming up, the Ridgeback sisters cover new ground. And Oscar finds a new audience to complain to. Oh, I'm so sorry. And now, a two-cute quiz. A member of which of the three breeds was a constant presence in Sigmund Freud's psychiatric office? Was it the happy Havanese, the ancient Chow, or the elegant Ridgeback? The answer may surprise you. A member of which of the three breeds was a constant presence in Sigmund Freud's psychiatric Chow, Chow. The answer? A Chow. Dr. Freud believed his Chow, Jofi, helped him calm anxious patients. One of the perks of being a toy breed is that you get to travel in style. The Havanese pups are still too young to go out on the town, but it's never too early to start practicing. The first step is getting acquainted with their vehicle. So far, they're not jumping at the chance. But Lulu is a seasoned traveler who's always happy to get on board. Until she realizes that the motor's not running. Once they see it's got mom to go, the pups line up to give it a try. It's got a roomy interior and a sunroof. Little Princess Misty doesn't want to fight the crowd for a seat. When they grow up, the pups will have all sorts of travel adventures. But for now, exploring the carrier is an adventure in itself. <laughs> Peanut's little ridgebacks are growing into strong young hunters. And these days, they're hunting anything that can't get away. Sisters Gemma and Clover discovered that the best prey of all is their brother Lucas. They may need to be reminded that they're not supposed to hunt each other. So, they're released into the wild. Outside, the Ridgeback pups are given special hunting toys, which are designed to look and feel just like prey. The girls don't mind sharing, but only with each other. 
As usual, Rufus is the odd man out. Tired of playing solo, he joins the party, whether he's invited or not. Turns out he's not. The pups are so busy squabbling, they don't realize that mom's come out. She reminds them that they're a pack, and in this pack, you're expected to play nice. Before the Chow boys can ever enter a dog show, they'll need a doctor's note. At four weeks old, they're ready for their first checkup, but they'll have to wait their turn. <laughs> Patience isn't exactly Oscar's strong suit. <laughs> Meanwhile, Tony doesn't make a peep. In fact, he's gotten so good at ignoring Oscar, he may need to get his ears checked. Tony passes his exam with flying colors. Now let's see how Oscar does. With a clean bill of health, the Chow twins are one step closer to the show ring. Soldier! Soldier! Soldier. Coming up, Oscar and Tony meet their show dog cousins. And Oscar has some complaints. At the cabin in the woods, the Havanese puppies are turning into independent young dogs. They're finally big enough to handle toys, though sharing them may take some practice. Especially for Misty, who seems to feel entitled to any toy she wants, no matter who saw it first. Restless Leo, who's never been afraid to stray from the bunch, keeps his toy safe from Misty by making a run for him. No matter for Misty, she's got plenty of other treasures to steal. Meanwhile, Mom Lulu can finally be away from the pups long enough to get in a much needed spa day. <laughs> It takes plenty of primping and pampering. But for the first time since becoming a mom, Lulu's finally feeling like her old self again. Soldier! At so 10 weeks know. old, Oscar and Tony are ready to start training to be show about dogs. 8 o'clock, 7, 30, 8 o'clock. Today, they Some visit their big cousins, Kehoki and Pearl. Jesus who are decorated champions. 
the boys can learn a lot by following their lead. Show dogs must be able to stand on a platform and step down on command. Quixote and Pearl will show the pups how it's done. Oscar immediately voices a complaint. This bench is tall, and his big cousins have an obvious height advantage. Tony, on the other hand, watches and learns. Suddenly, Oscar's all alone, with no one left to complain to but himself. Out of options, Oscar finally quits complaining and takes a leap of faith. Not the smoothest landing, but if you're going to make it in the show world, you gotta shake it off and move on. Never we pumps wake up to find something big being built in their backyard. Under mom's supervision, they go see what it's all about. Today, their inner hunters will be put to the test. But first, Mom Peanut shows them how it's done. Now it's time for the pups to try it. Gemma and Clover go first, and as usual, they work as a team. But it turns out two heads are only better if at least one knows what's going on. Rufus watches his sisters from the sidelines. When it's his turn, hopefully he'll be more of a natural. Because they can use a tutor. Coming up, Oscar and Tony are put to the test as they take their first steps into the show ring. At 10 weeks old, the Havanese are almost ready to move on to their permanent homes. But first, they reach a new milestone on their journey to becoming the lovable lap dogs. Don't quit your daydream. She loves that pillow, y'all. <laughs> Don't you, Lady Bird? Sunshine. Sunshine. To me, love my pillow. Don't quit your daydream. Because me go to sleep and daydream all the time. Boom. Getting beautiful is tough work. So the pups cuddle up by the fire to sleep. Boom. It's been almost three months since Lulu's pups entered the world. 
Misty was a natural born princess. And has grown to love everything about being a lap dog. She'll soon join her new family, where no doubt she'll get plenty of attention and have her toys all to herself. Her brother Leo was born a restless little pup. And in true form, he'll be the first to leave the cabin in the woods. Now his new family gets to join him on all his adventures to come. Thank you, Sunshine. He's so sweet. It's Sunshine. You're teething. Today, the top oh! Top you top bite top me, top girl! Top oh, you bite me, mommy! And starts off with his usual complaints. Well, you see your tongue. This is your tongue. And he got spots on mine, too. Let me see. Oscar realizes treats are the way to go and finishes the audition without a peep. Very nice. Oh! Tony is just happy to have his brother quietly by his side. Very nice. What? In the 12 weeks since they were born, the Chow boys have traveled a long road towards the show ring. It hasn't always been easy. But Oscar and Tony have grown into well-trained, confident future show dogs ready to trot their way towards success. This morning, the Ridgeback pups awoke to find an actual lure course in their own backyard. So far, sisters Gemma and Clover haven't quite caught on. Now their brother Rufus gets a chance to give it a whirl. It doesn't take long for Rufus's hunting instincts to come alive. Even his sisters are impressed. It's been a tough day of hunting, and the Ridgebacks are exhausted. In the 11 weeks since their humble beginnings, Peanuts pups have evolved into strong, rugged hunters. Sisters Gemma and Clover have been inseparable since birth. So did. Hey, babe. Their brother Rufus, on the other hand, was always a bit left out. But today, Rufus got to shine as he aced the lure course with ease. And it looks like he finally convinced the girls that three is not always a crowd. Yeah. 
What if mom doesn't come back? Not to worry. Ace the Brave Explorer will find her. But the slippery floor is slowing this mission down. Soldier. Yeah, so it's just like a little, little uh, tiger. Besides, today is not the day to travel so far oh. with the blanket. Maybe it's better to stick this morning, y'all. About 45 minutes from now, y'all won't know the difference. They're sweet now, but later on, oh, God. A few miles away, they're three months old as of today. The pups guarding instincts are coming up. For the boys, this means getting to know your territory, which for the moment is the dining room floor. But before they do any guarding, they've got to work on simply getting around. Biggest boy Caesar is set on proving he's the only guard puppy needed around here. But his brothers aren't going down without a fight. Like Daisy know. takes a less pause on approach. She's nurturing her and her watchdog by, well, watching. While Daisy stays on the sidelines, her three bully brothers tire each other out. With the boys asleep, the playroom is Daisy's territory. Sometimes toys are more fun than brothers because they don't bite back. Coming up, Coco sends out a doggy distress call. And Buttons tries to help. Plus, Ace the Explorer goes AWOL. Y'all ready to get her up or you going back to sleep? Before her big day back at so, do you want to put it back on snooze? Snooze it is. It's a big day for her five-week-old triplets, too. They're exploring the outdoors for the very first time. <laughs> the pups are on their own, but they should be safe in their fenced-in backyard. Coco's always looking for the spotlight, and it seems like it might be brighter on the other side of the fence. Mama's girl Apple doesn't think that looks like a good idea. But Buttons does. If Coco's doing it, she's got to try too. As they say in the modeling biz, you're either in or you're out. After a quick look around, Coco wants back in.
Y'all look who up, Lady, Lady Bird Sunshine. Yes, the grass isn't always greener on the other side of the fence. Buttons hears her cry and takes action. But she's got a problem. Have these steps always been this big? Before Buttons can save the day, Coco saves herself. Over in the Bull Mastiff house, the six-week-old pups have already tripled in size. And they're starting to outgrow their dining room nursery. Rough and tumble Caesar can hardly wait to get his paws on the outside world. <laughs> Lucky for him, today's his big chance. Turns out, getting to the yard is harder than it looks. Soldier. And right now, soldier, every boy. step yes, is a leap of faith. This soldier, y'all. Y'all see how big they get. Soldier's gonna jump in her chair. They're gonna start fighting. Where oh, you wanna go out? Time to go out? No, not yet. And his brothers waste no time getting the lay of the land. A good guard dog needs to know every last inch of the property he's going to protect. <laughs> Daisy is by herself again, trying to find a place to call her own. Yeah, this look like Daisy right here on the chair. Looks like he found one. But her brothers blow her cover. They may actually be better guard dogs than she thought. Bull mastiffs aren't the only ones getting in touch with nature. The ten little Portuguese water dogs are meeting the outside world for the very first time. And by the sound of things, they're not sure they like it. Domino finds all the sights, smells, and sounds a bit alarming. And it doesn't help that mom's out on the The only of ten decides to stick to what they know. Their blanket. All that ace the little explorer. Who once again decides to go looking for mom. Hey! But it's a lot of ground for a little puppy. <laughs> Lucky for him, sometimes what you're looking for finds you first. Ace heads back a hero. Mom 
shows her little ones just how much fun a backyard can be. Come on, Katie. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. The puppies oh. need some pointers. You, you can do it. Strikes a pose. Oh and Lord! The water dogs try oh, to And now a too cute quiz. A brave member of which of the three breeds was the first dog to set his paws on both the North and South Poles? Was it a fearless bull mastiff? Okay. A versatile Portuguese water dog. Wait a minute. There you go. Or an adventurous Jack Russell. The answer may surprise you. A brave member of which of the three breeds was the first dog to set his paws on both the North and South Pole? The answer? A Jack Russell Terrier. Yeah. In 1982, explorer Sir Ranulph Fiennes brought his Jack Russell Bothy on what became the first successful circumnavigation of the Earth from pole to pole. It's a busy day in the Bull Mastiff's yard. While Caesar leads his brothers in tackling practice, Bull mastiffs have a strong instinct to protect their families at all times. When outsiders arrive, their guarding instincts can kick in. It's important to socialize them at a young age so they learn to distinguish friend from foe. Simone, the French bulldog who lives next door, has come by to meet her new neighbors. Simone won't be able to look these future giants in the eye for long, but for now they're on a level playing field. <laughs> Caesar and his brothers give the new visitor a quick check. <laughs> then head back to their usual business. But it's Daisy who swoops in to make their guest feel welcome. It sure is great having a girlfriend around. Money, honey. It's a big to come in. Sunshine. So dear. They're about to be introduced to the very thing they were named for. Portuguese water dogs are built to swim. Their long, narrow frames cut easily through water, and their tails help guide them like a rudder. Of course, it never hurts to have webbed toes, which double as paddles. In a life full of firsts, this is a big one. 
What are dogs? Meat, water. Mace and his sidekick Domino feel it out. But it's not exactly love at first step. Bales and the others are right back. Why would you fight and stop it? Get off of me. Good God. Guess these guys didn't get the memo that water is their middle name. Meanwhile, at the Jack Russell's house, it's take your daughter's to work day. Hopefully, one of her triplets has caught the modeling bug. It looks like Shy Apple is having a little stage fright. But Coco is hungry for the spotlight. Buttons is hungry for just about anything. Seems like these pups may need a little guidance. Time for mom to show them how it's done. That's something the pups can sink their teeth into. Coming up, Daisy and her brothers hit the slopes. Move up and make me some coffee. Get out of the way. You guys are ready to operate from that line. Drink your milk. In the full Mastiff's playroom, Caesar and his brothers are roughhousing with their neighbor Simone, while Daisy keeps a lookout. Oh, Jesus! Since Daisy is the only one paying attention to the outside world, she's the only one who realizes there's something different out there, and she's dying to get a closer look. The others are a little uneasy, but Daisy dives right in. The brothers are being shy, but Daisy is having so much fun. Maybe this white stuff isn't so bad. They follow their sister's lead, and for the first time, all the bull mastiffs are playing together. It's the cutest snow day ever. The Jack Russell sisters are finally oh, old enough to test their skills in front of the camera. Get out of my foot! Katie! Oh, I'm glad she's having a good hair day. But Sister Buttons doesn't approve of her wardrobe. Apple can 
can't decide whether she loves or hates the blue briar. With everyone prepped and prepped, it's time for the shoot to begin. Mom's up first and shows the pups how a good model poses with pride. Now it's Coco's chance to shine. But modeling is harder than it looks. Buttons hopes to steal the show. But this is her mark. And Apple thinks this is an action shot. Yes, these girls aren't ready for their post op just yet. And Mom's running out of ideas. One of the most lovable features of the Portuguese water dog is their soft, fluffy coat. Part of what makes their fur so special is that it's not actually fur at all. It's hair, which means they're perfect pets for people with allergies. To avoid matting or overgrowth, which would weigh the exacted dogs down, they need to get regular haircuts. Whether they like it or not. Give me my shoe. Over at the Jack Russell house, it's the land like tree? for the girls to take the spotlight. You like a tree? Mom, we can't Can't see it. Get your own. Her toys will rub off on her pocket. But Coco and her sister Buttons would much rather play. Instead, it's the quiet little underdog apple who's got the patience to pull. Sit. Get doggy. Get like down, Katie. No. When you get ready, I'll give you one. Katie, sit. Katie, sit. Katie, sit. Sit, Katie. Katie, sit. Good girl. Yes. Ladybird, sunshine. Soldier, yes. It's a very important day for a puppy It's adoption day. And Ace and Domino are eager to show that they've made great additions to any family. Y'all gotta finish watching our show? Well, let's go. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Go sit. Go sit. Go sit. Come on, soldier. Soldier here. Y'all don't get up at 8 o'clock. Let's get it. Come on, Bert. Come on. Come on, Katie. 
Come here. Come on, big mama. Oh, big girl. Oh. <laughs> you can get up there. Come on. You can do it. Come on. There you go, Lady Bird. Yes, sunshine. Come on, get up here, Katie May. Come on, Miss Katie. Come on, Miss Katie. Oh, oh, I love you guys too. Katie, you know you can get up there. You y'all look at. It. Hey y'all, it's me, Carolina Diamond. <laughs> y'all see how big they done got? Lord have mercy. They is her four months old. This is Katie. <laughs> The sunshine, look at Soji back there by his sitting there. You bite my tail, your tail up. You don't bite me. Get down. Get over there. They get on the camera. They like to show out. These are two sisters. Sunshine and Katie Boy, they on on spec. You see, look over there by yourself. Oh. Yeah, they are. Uh, it's something else, honey. They got to be on me all the time. I guess maybe the colors I got on, I don't know what it is. Yeah, they don't use to get up to about eight o'clock, so they ate this morning, went for a walk. I didn't walk too far, guys. You know my knee is still healing so well. I guess it was about about a half, about a quarter of a mile. And now, you know, the day started early this morning, about four o'clock. And I said, let me start give give, give you guys some dogs or us time because we haven't uploaded or recorded in a while. So today is their day. Yeah. Look at Katie sliding out the chair. <laughs> Now that is a mess right there. Honey. Look at it. Look, see, I told you she's going like a baby. She got to get up there. Katie, sit, Good girl. I need teasing like hell. Look at her. She want to go outside and play tug. Take a look. I see what I did. Yeah, you know what? I'm sorry. If I got the check going live, I haven't seen anything because I got the. Uh, the picture is full, just full blown. So I'm minimizing so I can see what's going on. I know I got one person been watching me for about an hour and two minutes, three minutes. And that's good. I'm glad you guys are here because we miss you guys too. We've been having a lot of uh, circumstances that have came upon and that we can't, couldn't record as much as we want to. But now, guys, if God is willing, we're willing to give you some good content. And God is always willing. So, hey, see how big they have gotten so big. It used to be, oh, God, these are three amigos that tear up my house, honey. And I start coming out the camera, I have to spank that booty, get them trained my way. And you see, they're, back, they're better, but they're still teasing. So, yeah. But anyway, I'm going to stay on about probably another 30 minutes, and then I'm going to have to take them out. But they don't ever want me to turn off this camera. They love live streaming 24-7. Me, I'm like... People got things to do, guys. You can wait your turn to go live stream. And right now, this morning, they were watching their favorite show, Too Cute. I'm trying to let them get back into it so I can draw my morning coffee. But uh, they took a bath last night. And look at Katie looking at her booty. Stop looking at your kid. Nobody want to smell that, girl. Oh, oh, funky box. Stink box, stink box. Katie all up in her seat. Look at Katie. Quit in your own car, girl. Quit that. I mean, oh, coochie. Quit it, quit it, quit it. You're going to be looking on me like that. But anyway, I'm just playing with them guys. They're so sweet. You see, this is a sunshine. But uh, <laughs> we're supposed to be getting a little kitten today, but I don't know, guys. I think these dogs probably just tear them up. Katie. Yeah, I took her to the vet yesterday, guys, and uh, she has dry skin, so she's constantly scratching. I got a spray. I just put some spray on her, but every time I put it on, she likes to eat it off, so. Yeah, so that's why she's licking. And this one right here, teething so bad, she's just tearing up my look, trying to tell my thing. You want, look at here. Let me see if I can see the chat, guys. Hold on.
Oh, Lord. So Butters claims this corner is her own. Will you quit? Noodles is the firstborn of the litter and the first. I can't see. Okay, zero eyes. people in the building and He's zero thumbs up. But anyway, guys, we're just doing this for them. I'm not looking for, you know, thumbs up, thumbs down. Be nice to get them, but if not, you know, well, hey, my joy comes from bringing you great content with these guys. So I'm going to chill out and let them do their thing because, you know, dogs always put smiles on somebody's faces. And now all the kittens are focused on lunch time. I can't see the chat, guys, so I love you guys so much, but I cannot see the chat because I got it on maximum screen. And uh, right now I'm going to enjoy my coffee and give you the pups. Butters won't let her kittens out of her sight or out of their corner anytime soon. Not far away in quiet suburbia, a different kind of story is unfolding. This mom, Joss Queen, is as exotic as they come. She's a savannah, a cross between a domestic house cat and a wild African circle. Wanna go out? In some cities, so All right, time to get out. Let's go outside. Uh, 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 uh. Don't keep me in here. Come on, let's go outside. But right now, all these newborns are hunting for is their mom. Meet Tiger, Cooper, and Cheetah. Hey guys, I need to go out. Pretty long, you gonna get in the chair? Come on, come on, soldier. Get up there, you can do it. You can do it. Come on, you can do it. Yeah, Ladybird. Sunshine, so this is how we do it, yeah. <laughs> Y'all ready to go out? Yeah, guys, I'm about to end this stream. I'm about to uh, get caught up on some things and let them go out because if they pee in my cows, honey, I'm going to be ready to whoop some butt. So let's get them outside. Y'all ready to go outside? Come on, let's go. Let's get it. Come on. Come on, y'all. Outside. Let's go. Come on. Come on, let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Come on, soldier. Come on. Come on. <laughs> soldiers don't want to come out. Look at here. So be ready. be one ready to pee all over the place. Good girl. Good girl, sunshine. Ready to go pay. Y'all hold on, I gotta go get son. Get the soldier out of there because he'd be ready to pee all over the place. Mark his hair. Give me a minute. Get out, get out, get out, get out. Go pee, go use the bathroom. Uh, well, guys, this is how we do around here every morning. So 
So I'm going to start off waiting your brief synopsis of what we do. Y'all going to say goodbye? Sunshine, say goodbye. Soldier. Anyway. Time to use the restroom. Like they do everything together. Pee together, eat together, play together, poo poo together. Look at her. She gotta go. She's like, nigga, please get out of her soul so she can use the bathroom. Oh God, they done found something. Well. <laughs> I don't think I want to see what it is. She had the people. She started digging. Grass. <laughs> Dog, something else, honey. He's still trying to find Bigfoot. They smell his, They smell him, y'all. They're looking for Bigfoot. But right now, they're using the restroom. And she's smelling so much Bigfoot that she can't even pee and use the bathroom. Soldier got a crap. <laughs> Good boy, soldier. Handle your business, baby. He got a big old turd coming out of him. Oh, Lord. Now she duking. I wonder when Katie going to duke you. She's too busy searching for her. I don't know what she's looking for, honey. I know she's over there by my grape tree. I can't wait till them grapes come out, honey. Mm. And then we got some, uh, some uh, muscadines and Bullets. Yes. Guys, it's so quiet this morning. I woke up this morning. I seen like four deers out here. I think it's so green and pretty. And it's about time to cut the grass again. We just cut it like last week. And I see sour weeds out there. And they love sour weeds. They go out there and eat them all the time. I don't know what they're digging for now. They just doing their little thing. But anyway, guys, I hope you guys are having a blessed Tuesday. I'll be answering emails today. Um, God, I got a lot of them answered, so I said, let me get a cup of coffee and get started. Hopefully, a lot of you guys are going to be live today because uh, I have class today. Yes, I do. But, you know, today um, I'm going to be basically, you know, watching YouTube and answering all my fan mail and um, just gathering up comments because Friday I'll be doing a live stream. You know, I don't, I'm, I'm, it's going to be hate comments, comments, just simply comments I'll be answering. So I'm going to just be taking the best uh, comments out there. So if you guys want to be get a shout out or, you know, just want to say what's up, you know, definitely you know leave a like, subscribe, leave a comment. And uh, if you want me to play your playlist, uh, also request that that way. You know, like I said, you know, when it comes to things like that, I believe in, you know, helping out the other fellow YouTubers because, you know, when we're small YouTubers, we help each other. We become mighty and many. But, uh, you know, dog to us, we have 30 dedicated uh, everyday love people that we love you know, subscribers and, and it's been great. You know, I got a couple people sent out some dog bag, some uh, dog food for the dogs. And, and so far right now, Ladybird, she's thinking about being in dog shows because she's just a uh, very, she's, she's, she's a sorry ass. Look at her. She's always on the grind. You know, she's a, uh, she loves to run. She's a, a Razorback with, with uh, I guess German Shepherd and something else I was told. You know, dogs can have up to 10 daddies. <laughs> depending on how many pups mom is carrying. So she's going over there to go to my cousin house neighbors up because they always throwing out food for them. And you can see a uh, soldier back there looking for a Bigfoot. And you can see Miss Katie out there. And I got her some good old steak from last night, steak bones. So, you know, this is, our country. This is what we do. Yeah, and, uh, it's been a beautiful day so far. I mean, got up early this morning and hey, Gave God the praise and ate breakfast, walked with the dogs. They already ate and now they're working on their second snack. It's not even nine o'clock, you know, and I love that commercial when it says U.S. Army soldiers do more before nine o'clock than most people do, because that still remains true for me. And a lot of the service members out there, even though I'm retired, I still will get up at 430, 445. It's just something I've been doing for so long. That's just, it's just I don't think that ever, ever will go away because, you know, once a soldier, always a soldier. And, and those are parts of it, you know. Um, I um, I got to take one more COVID-19 shot, guys. That's because of the batch that I had, Johnson & Johnson. 
Lord, I guess they they saying, hey, they doing bad reactions. So uh, VA has called me this morning and said, uh, we need you to come back up here and take another, um, not the Johnson Johnson, but what is it, the call when you got to have like two doses. So they give us four doses, breaking it down. So I got to go take my last doses today or schedule it for probably the 27 because I have an eye appointment up there. And uh, yeah, and then also I got to go see the OBG. I win. She wants to definitely check me out and get another pap smear going because if you guys don't know, I lost my twins and I had to get a DNC uh, a couple of days ago. So, you know, I'm going to go up there for a follow up, make sure that, you know, there's no uh, embryonic uh, tissues or whatever the slope never my fallopian tubes. Um, I got word this morning when I checked my email that everything is OK. Um, maybe another I don't know. The doctor wants me to wait at least six weeks before sexual intercourse of that, you know, because I didn't want to tell you guys that. But hell, it's a human nature thing. But uh, before I can, um, you know, dwell in that area. And that's because, you know, once you get like that, you can instantaneously have a baby. You guys already have babies. You guys know what I'm talking about. And so, you know, and then also what it does, it protects me from getting, you know, uh, uh, things like, you know, bacteria or whatever. Because, you know, when you have a baby and you have a DNC, you know, they scrape out the uterus and make sure all the tissue is gone. But your uterus is still, you know, vulnerable to you know, let's just say, you know, like infections or whatever. So that's why they actually refrain from having sexual intercourse because the body is naturally cleaning itself and they're trying to repair itself. So, but I was informed that everything is okay. Um, but they're gonna, I still got to go do um, a, a pap smear to make sure everything is compliance and get the COVID-19, get the eyes checked, and then also get my hearing checked because they got a lawsuit out for anybody that's been over Army 25 years, not the Army guys, but this company for earplugs and you saw for at least 20 percent loss from being in the military and shooting guns or whatever then you are gonna you could be awarded you know a prize of of uh, some i don't know how much it is how much the settlement is but it's the earplugs that we'd be wearing all the time when we do uh, military training and a lot of uh, military folks have lost their hearing or some type of hearing because of that so guys the dogs have gone up front so um i think i'm just gonna end the stream soldier oh i see him see him over there you're doing the rounds. Oh, so where you going? Like you so like I'll be back, mama. And they sniffing. <laughs> but anyway, guys, it's been a pleasure to be on here today. And uh well, here we go. Here comes sunshine. Here come heavenly Katie. Go play. Go play. Go eat. Go eat. She's off. So guys, they over there having a good time. I'm trying to see if I can get some more coverage for you. They, they over, over there. They're looking for food because around 10, 10 30, they're waiting for some food. Dogs are very smart. They know exactly what's going on. They over there fighting now. So they think, stop it. Get out of here. Uh-uh. Yeah. Sunshine. Soldier boy. Here they come. Look at Soldier. He's getting so fast. Look at him. His sisters usually they still try to jump on him. <laughs> you gotta watch. They love to they love to play. But some the uh, soldier letting them know, hey, I'm getting big now, guys. I'm gonna start waxing your ass. <laughs> Ain't bad as hell. They love jumping fighting on the soldiers. I have to come outside and protect them sometimes. There he goes again. Here we go. I don't know what make dogs like to bite each other on the legs. It's the way they play, I guess. And all they got in but yo, and it's kind of cool out here this morning, too, guys. So I'm gonna go in and enjoy my coffee. They know they they're being recorded. That's why they're look at some, look look out. Here we go. Here we go. Pack challenge. Here we go. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. So there we go. Yeah, it's about. Ooh, y'all hear that? Uh oh, here we go. Guys, I have to intervene sometimes because sometimes these dogs, they be fighting for real. Oh! Soldier! Katie! See? They got them little tails up. They ready to go with it. Here we go. 
They're snoring now. He's like, I'm getting tired of y'all fucking me. Katie, leave him alone. Leave him alone. Anyway. That's how they bond, guys. I guess they gotta figure out who's the head of the hierarchy. I'm just gonna let him go with it for a second. And then I'm gonna break it up. Thanks. He getting tired of that me him them <laughs> messing with him. We're just trying to make him tough. Let me put my password in, guys. My screen is locked up. Well, anyway, guys, I'm about to go back in here and join my car and let them do their thing. Uh, later on, I'll be just basically um tying their butts up because they get to the point where they like to chase out the car. And there's something else. And they have to come out here all the time, pick up papers. I'm not having it. So, but anyway, we won't be here, living here too long because I accepted an Indiana VA job. Um, I got to probably start looking for a place within the next 15, 20 days. I'm uh, looking online because I accepted a very great uh, offer with the Veterans Affairs where I'm going to be the regional. you just working for a VA is all I'm going to tell you right now. Um, Indiana. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I don't know exactly where. But I have to report there by July 1st. Um, so it's going to be a great thing for me to be in Indiana, even though I'm so not too far from Robbins, Illinois. You know, um, I married the, the great Melvin Roberson. He's from Chicago, Illinois, uh, better known as Robbins, Illinois, Kip County. You know, so. Uh, but I know a little something, something about it. Melvin and I are not together anymore. Uh, he's moved on and me, I'm just moving on and. That's just the way it is, guys. I mean, it does not mean that we can't be the best of friends, but we haven't talked in a while. But, yeah, I'm going to be accepting. Look at that big-ass mosquito, yo. Woo, Jesus. I got to go in the house. Y'all feel me? Got laundry to do. Yeah. My dogs are outside, and I can enjoy myself and uh, get a lot of things done. Yeah. But, anyway, I tell you, dogs will mess up your house and be little. So right now I got sugar on the counter, so my house is not up to my standards. But anyway, so I'm going to enjoy my coffee, guys, get up out of here. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Um, later on, when I'm decent, my hair done or whatever, I may come back on, which I will. But I wanted to uh, basically give you a little bit of Dogs or Us because I know it's been a while, guys. And we're going to probably record, like, um, I want to say every three days because I'm also running other channels, too, and, uh, you know, I'm a moderator, so we'll see. And I got my little book, guys. Got everything prioritized and ready to ready to bring you some good stuff and be part of YouTube family like that I am. So, guys, I got to get out of here. I love you guys so much. And guys, I hope you have a wonderful 10th of Lives and Tuesday. I'll be answering your emails. And please, guys, please, 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 if you want to be a part of the comment crew uh, where I answer all comments, just like, subscribe, leave a comment. You want me to play your playlist indicated there? Um, I'm loving. I love having out small YouTube channels because right now I'm considered a small YouTuber. I have like 600. Thank you guys so much for all the love. But on uh, Dogs of Us, we're we're going at 30, and it's it's good. You know, one thing I've learned that I don't like to do anymore is go to channels that promote growth because you know if you don't get a chance to uh, subscribe to some of their channels or basically you know be there when they want you to be. They'll, they'll unsubscribe from me, and I, I don't want to go through it. I want dedicated, dedicated, dedicated people that love me to come see me or come see the dogs. And that's just the way it is because, you know, I mean, it's, it's almost next to impossible for um, people of my statue, you know, has over 600 people. I'm not saying I'm the greatest, but it is very hard to jump when somebody tells you to. I, I don't jump for anybody, guys. So if you want me to play your playlist, just go ahead and send it to Stacey Robertson27 at gmail.com. You want to be a part of my 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 team, which is Carolina Diamond Production or Dogs or Us, please like, subscribe. You don't want to be here. I'm not making you do it, but I thank you for being here. But guys, I'm telling you right now, when I tell you I'm gonna visit, you gotta give me time. I'm not I'm not superwoman. You know, if I say I'm gonna visit you, I'm gonna visit you. It may not be that day, but I'm gonna get around to you. Most of the time, I'm in your chat, I don't say anything. And then I hear a lot of people talking junk. Well, she says she's going to do this. I'm unsubscribing. I mean, if that's the kind of stuff I got to deal with, then I'll tell you what, guys. I love you guys so much who out there who supports us. We love you guys for, for so much. And, you know, that's just the way it is. I mean, if, you, if my content is not what you're looking for, 
there's there's 3.5 billion YouTubers out there. But I'm glad you stopped by and spend your time with me, and that's wonderful. But uh, as far as um, jump into a, a channel, and I said I'm gonna check you out. You got to give me a couple of days, maybe a week at the most, because guys, I do have a life too, and you do too as well. So guys, with that being said, I've been on here one hour and 15 minutes. I love you guys so much. I don't know if Katie stopped the screen or whatever, because I don't see nothing moving. I'm going to kill Katie. I had the most best coverage ever. But anyway, guys, peace. But everything stops when someone new walks in.